This story comes out of passages in the Old Testament from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 8, all the way through to chapter 17, and also from various passages in the New Testament. And it's talking about some of the kings that Israel had. So King Saul and King David, and then looking on to King Jesus. Here we go. Some days we all feel worried. We get scared and anxious too. So perhaps we need the story of the king who will fight for you. Long, long ago in the promised land, God had given his people a home. And to have him in charge was better by far than any old king on the throne. You see, God had wanted his people to know all that they needed was him. But the people said, make us like everyone else. We want a human king. Our enemies keep on attacking. They're grinding us into the dust. So please, oh please, won't you give us a king, a king who will fight for us? And God replied, and he gave them Saul, who was handsome and tall and tough, who fought one fight that turned out all right, and the people sang, good enough. They crowned him king and they sang with joy, but their joy turned to whimpers and whines, as out of the blue they came under attack by the dreaded Philistines. Now a king should be fearless in battle. A king should say, God will come through. He does what's right, though it costs his life. A good king fights for you. And Saul fought hard for his people. But he also made awful mistakes. And God saw just what he'd known all along. This king didn't have what it takes. Yet God wasn't done with his people. You messed up with Saul, it's true. But I'm going to give you the best sort of king, a king who will fight for you. Then deep in the valley of Elah, the Israelite armies went quiet, as they saw the new champ from the enemy camp, the Philistine known as Goliath. He was taller than anyone near him. His spear was like ten spears in one. He was fierce and proud and tough and loud, and he smiled as he sang his song. I can take on any man you've gotten, I'll beat him black and blue. Goliath's the champ for the Philistine camp, will nobody fight for you. The people of God stood shaking. The giant had filled them with dread. And Saul should have stood with sword in hand, but he hid with the army instead. Yet one day, a shepherd from Bethlehem was bringing his brothers a snack. And he heard Goliath and shouted out, Will no one answer back? And he cried out, This is an outrage! And he cried, This will not do! For the God who lives is on our side, and he will fight for you! So off to the king he hurried. He said, Highness, it's David, I'm here. This battle belongs to the Lord our God. It's him that Goliath should fear. Saul offered the shepherd his armour. And he tested it out, but said no. I've taken on lions and bears, and for this, all I need is a sling and a stone. So out he went, with sling in hand, and five little rocks from the brook. And Goliath looked down on the shepherd boy, and he laughed until he shook. I've been fighting since you were in nappies, and you'll take me on with a toy? Come all, take a seat and watch me beat this foolish shepherd boy. I am Goliath, fierce and strong. I'll squash you beneath one shoe. You'll meet your end if all you send is a boy to fight for you. And David said, I might be smaller, but the fight isn't won by the sword. Before the day's through, you'll see that it's true that the battle belongs to the Lord. Then up to each other they sprinted. The sling in his hand spun around. Like lightning, the stone struck the enemy's head, and he fell and lay still on the ground. The people of Israel leaped and danced for joy as they started to sing. We saw nothing more than a shepherd boy, but this shepherd behaves like a king. A king should be fearless in battle, and a king should say, God, you can trust he does what's right, though it costs his life, and David has fought for us. And though David was greater than so many kings, 
he's still not a ten out of ten. For the king of all kings would one day be born in a stable in Bethlehem. This king would be honest and faithful. This king would do all that he said. He took up our fight and it cost him his life. And this king has come back from the dead. In this world, you will have many troubles. But take heart, he is lord of each one. For everything scary in life or in death, King Jesus has overcome. He has won all the battles we couldn't. Every battle he's won is for us. Over doubt, death and sin, we're victorious in him. So against all your fears, you can trust that our king always fights for his people. His promises always come true. He is there to the end, so take courage, my friend, for Jesus will fight for you.